Turning now to Washington, where the White House says it's a partisan exercise, but a Republican-led hearing looks into whether the president engaged in corrupt activity and is the first step in a process that, if played out, could lead to his impeachment. Mike Emanuel has more from Washington. House Republicans are using their first impeachment inquiry hearing to lay out evidence they think shows President Biden used his public office to benefit his family. He lied by telling the American people that there was an absolute wall between his official government duties and his personal life. It is a culmination of investigative work the House Oversight Committee has done for months. The chairman says he has two dozen pieces of evidence revealing Joe Biden's corruption. This includes emails, text messages, bank records, and testimony of Biden business associates. And they are zeroing in on the president's son, Hunter, for his alleged influence peddling, using the Biden brand to enrich himself. One email, Hunter Biden even bragged that he cut a deal for 10 million from just one company for, quote, introductions alone. Republicans have brought in financial and legal expert witnesses to examine any wrongdoing that may have been committed but none of them have any firsthand knowledge of the Biden family's financial dealings. I do not believe that the current evidence would support articles of impeachment. While Hunter Biden has a litany of legal problems, Democrats argue there is no connection to the president himself. The Constitution's irrelevant to them. What counts is what Donald Trump wants. And the White House agrees the timing of the hearing is suspect, with a government shutdown looming. They're desperate to distract from their inability to keep the government open. If enough of the House is convinced there is a smoking gun, the Judiciary Committee would take the lead drafting articles of impeachment. In Washington, Mike Emanuel, Fox News.